Hello and welcome to another episode of Ankle Sore and our review of round four, better known as Gather Round. Gentlemen, our thoughts on Gather Round. <sighs> when are you gonna, when are you just going to stop this rubbish? Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. Really? You don't like it? No, it's rubbish. You gotta play you're gonna play at Adelaide Over, you play there. You gotta play at Subiaco, you play there. You gotta play at what's this rubbish? Oh, they've got crowds. It's all about the AFL making money, mate. Of course it is. Just it's careful. all about the AFL making money. Get, oh, I don't care. Lambast Lambas me all you like, mate. I'll lambast South you back. Australians, they got me last year. Good luck to them, mate. Why? <coughs> Are you serious? That, that's it. my opinion on it. I love it. Disgrace. You do. Love you it. Do. Love he it. loves it. You? Something different. Um, I'm warming to it because I didn't like it last year. Before you go, I just reckon... Boring. <laughs> That's great. Go on. Um, why, can, why do we have to only play at three venues? Like, I'd like to see him play at Glenelg. I'd like him to see, it, see him play at Alberton in, at Port Adelaide. You know, uh, West Adelaide, Richmond Oval, whatever it is. So like, is, is Norwich, can they play? Is Norwich Grand Fifth AFL, is it? Oh, how narrow is it? My, you, know, you know, here in this room, yeah. I reckon there's more room between... Yeah, it's narrow. Give me a spell, That's mate. It's incredible. I don't care who played there. That's disgraceful. He must be a good bowler. He wants to spell all the time. Ah, they got balls to make to play on those shit grounds. Ah, give me a spell. I hate it. What are your thoughts on Gather Round? No, I like it. Oregon's good. Oregon, there's some good games. There's good games, but all neutral games, venues okay. apart from Adelaide and Port Adelaide. The rest are neutral venues. Oh, why not? All right. It's it's one round. Who like who cares? Okay, so you don't like it, but no. question to you, which. Brad Scott brought up and a couple of other people like should Port Adelaide play Adelaide no. in the showdown on that round? No. Yep. Yes. If that's the case, yep. One. No. And two, get play on grounds that are fit for AFL standard because some of those grounds aren't. Adelaide Hills. Again. Go, and, go and play at uh, Tatura. <laughs> Again. Idiots. Again. The AFL is a business. We need to yeah, it's all. That's all it is. It's, all it is. It, it's, it's not a sport anymore, mate. Let's get this straight. Not, it, used to, it used to be a sport. And that's why it annoys me. There are certain, like Brad Scott. It's Brad Scott, isn't it? Carrying on that Port Adelaide and yes, Adelaide are playing. One. Or, yeah. Or, the, oh, is it Chris Scott? That, oh, I don't know. They're both. One of the Scots carried yeah. on that. Oh, that means Adelaide and Port Adelaide play 13 home games. So what? Yeah, so Collingwood exactly. plays 17 games at the MCG. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. So that's, who that's cares? True. So no, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I don't care about that. Anyway. Oh, well, but it matters, though. Let's yeah, but yeah. It move, let's matter. move on. Thursday, Adelaide Oval. Thursday night, Adelaide eight fifteen sixty three. Melbourne ten eighteen seventy eight. The uh, Crows is not good enough. It's just not good enough. They they just they've gone backwards. I think a couple of sides gone backwards in this comp. Yeah, but they're, they're one of them. Three, I reckon. But they're one. They're of one them. of them. Yeah, yeah. And Melbourne's Melbourne's got their mojo back, mm. and uh, you know, uh, Pet well, Petrarca's always good, but Oliver's. You know, everyone's writing him off, and the ball's probably He's one of them. Rebounded nicely, hasn't Beautifully. he? Beautifully. You know, Viney still does his thing. Yeah. They're looking good, Melbourne. Well, I think... Um, never, never in doubt that game, to be honest. It really wasn't. Adelaide had a few chances late, but Rochelle was really greedy in one passage of play. Yeah, Jumped bad. in front of Taylor Walker. Um, I think Melbourne, like McDonald and Brown and all these guys, they straighten them up. That's, they That's just it. look different. They look, they look a bit hungry, actually. They actually they do. Look That's hungry. what I'm saying. They look yeah. like... When they won the flag, and who's that other uh, Neil Bullen? Like they, these guys that are just good players. Mm. I think they've gone to the next level. Yeah, and what about the bloke that got fourteen touches in the first quarter? Um, what's his name? Judd McVie. McVie. Yeah, McVie. What number is he? Forty. No, forty-one. Four. 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 Forty-one. You're thinking of McKenty from Port Adelaide. He was. He yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't yeah. know. McVie was forty-one last year. Believe it. He was. Yeah, yeah he's he's gone gone to he was too. Anyway, Ned McHenry, get out. You're a he's one of the worst footballers on the planet. I swear he's hopeless. Get how many times do you want to take a mark on the wing and go, uh, let's wait until 18 players get back and get in the space there? Kick it to your forwards, you clown. No, he's no good. I can't handle him. Yeah. I can't handle it. Don't get me wrong. Maybe you wouldn't have changed the result, but give yourself a chance. The whole they don't the give himself a chance. Poor the whole game, but you know, I, I think I said this to you, Rash, Rochelle, He's a bit overrated for my liking. Yeah, we have spoken. Everyone about carried that. on a bit. Good player. I'm not saying yeah, he's not good. Yeah, relax. He's just yeah. an okay, good forward. Okay, yeah. forward. That's all. He let his, he let his side down Thursday night. Big time. He did. Friday afternoon was Brisbane 16, 16 112 defeated North Melbourne six six forty two. North didn't kick that eighty that I said that kick. <laughs> Get him. Oh, it's another Done. two minutes of my life that I won't get back. Just to do it. No, no, Everyone's I'll... waiting for the go to hell. It's two, no, it's two minutes of <laughs> my life. Two minutes of my life that I won't get back if I okay, speak and rest. And just... All right, you have a rest. I'll speak. Maybe Please. you could hold it for Club Corner. Please. Yeah, Club Corner's come up. It's going to be very interesting. A lot of people are looking forward to it. 
So no, he's not. Stay tuned. No, no, but people are. He's not. Out please, at all. please. Let's. I want to hear. His ulcer's only just healing now. <laughs> Correct. <Fair enough. laughs> um, disappointed with North Melbourne, Brisbane. Oh, that means nothing. Mm, like to come out I and agree. beat a bottom two side or bottom I four agree. side or whatever you want to say. To come out and hit Wood and Danner and you've shown me nothing, Brisbane. This week's a test, mate, against Melbourne. Won't beat Melbourne, I don't think. Mm. No, but that's a test. That's it. I still so think their season's done. You're definitely not talking. I've got no yeah, interest. Got nothing to say. <laughs> I've, I've got, got absolutely no zero. I've got, I've got Just wait say. till we get to the next couple of games. Yeah, I know. I've got Cam Zerha. Where's he at? I know. I know you're trying to up your value, but get rid of him, North. He's not he, worth. He looks like an employee mm. that has found his next job and yeah. hasn't told his employer. Well, you should Does that tell make him. Sense? Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah, like he's got his job, but he has he's yet to yeah, resign. Yeah, I, I agree. Because that's but, how he's playing. But he's playing the money game, right? He wants a big contract. Of course he does. He's not worth it. No. Nah. Mm. Like North Melbourne, uh, Roxon, if they keep this bloke... Oh, not for the offer. They've offered him five years. Oh, they can offer him... E- even that half a million dollars is not worth it. He's just an ordinary so, player. One and, minute and 53 seconds. Oh, okay, I've got seven seconds. On, on a VFL side. I think Brisbane, I've, under, on I've a VFL side. overrated them. Yeah. Oh, and we all have. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have. I got sucked in. I think yeah. they're done. I think they. I think they're done. The yeah. Five years last year. up. Might hurt them. And North Melbourne, they're all over the shop. Yeah, they are. They are. All, it's they've two gone minutes, backwards. Two minutes twenty seconds on okay. the VFL side. Okay, right. let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night, Adelaide Oval. Well, that was. This is the double. Well, no, it wasn't a double header, was it? Because that was a yes. Well, 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 well it wasn't of. a double header. But no, Port Adelaide after. seventeen nine one hundred and eleven whacked Essendon six six forty two right by sixty nine points. Just we're, before you go, we're on, leaving it to you. This one isn't it incredible that two games played within four hours of each incredible. other? Incredible. I know what you're going to say. Team kicked six six forty two. And mm. what's the winning side? And the winning side kicked seventeen nine one hundred and eleven point. And the other point. one kicked seventeen ten hundred and twelve. Sixteen sixteen one hundred. Oh, 16, 16, 16 it was. Sixteen back kicking. Has yeah. do you reckon it's ever happened in history? Oh, I don't know. No idea. I don't think so. But two identical scores in one round. Are you done with Essendon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I want to know. Yeah, they were, they were disappointing. And I they spoken... cannot win those games. Having said that, Port Adelaide this year with Butters, Rosie and Horn Francis, they're going to do that to every side at Adelaide Oval. I'll every say, side. I'll say one thing. Every middle of the road side. <laughs> yeah, spoken, <laughs> spoken to some Essendon people. And they, they, they go, folk. it's the same folk. old. Yes, Essendon, Essendon folk. folk. And they go, same old, same old, same old. Yep. I just want to say one thing. I apologise to you, JHF. Reason being, good good on you for leaving North because you're a smart man. You are a smart individual. I bagged the hell out of you, but you know what? You're going to better your career and be a star because you're already a star. But let me tell you, if you were playing in that rabble of a VFL side, you'd be sitting on the outside doing nothing. Played well. Culture didn't help him. Correct. No. Port Adelaide going to... They, he they, was they, tremendous. They look good. Yeah, he was tremendous. And you're right. Him going to that next level with Rosie yeah. and Butters. Yeah. But then, mate, you got guys like... um. Oh, I've gone Blake. Well, we What's his name? Curly Which one? Hair. Dusty Burn, Burn Jones. Burn, oh, oh, Burn Jones. Mate. He's not good. Hey, take him or leave him. Good football. Yeah, but he compliments Thank like you. their A-grade right. brigade. That's what I mean. Don't that, doesn't he? Yeah. I, mean, that's some oh, good, I rate him. Like Willem Drew, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they're at Radical and Ali Ali down back. And yeah, Zerk that, Thatcher. Like they've got right. a really nice setup down there. Yeah, they've, they've they played four well. forwards or four tall keys for the first time. Finlayson, Marshall, Georgiades, Dixon, although Finlayson's going to have a bit of a holiday. Georgiades coming back, mm. mate, it makes a difference. Yep. So even if Dixon, like he, he's on the rear end of his career, yeah, but he's yeah. still there and he's still handy yep. and they've still got to man him up. Yep. They yeah. They're good, Port. They're, they're said at the start of the year they're a very good home and away. And side. I said, yeah, we I all said say. this, Essendon need to win these games, sorry, Essendon need to give win these games or at least have a crack at these yeah. sides if they're going to take, to me they're just back to the same pack as they were last year. Jeez, same, same thing. Same oh, thing. You said something. Good home on the wayside. Wow. Can't win the premiership. I can, I'll tell you Who's right this? now. Who's this? Port Adelaide. No, I don't know. It's hard to say. Because yeah, Rosie four. and Butters won't be running around get, like that against good sides. Rosie got 36. Was yeah, his I know. Best, it was but his career high. Three goals. They won't be allowed to do that against good sides. Problem. They're stars. They're superstars, right? Well, the, the good sides, it's Melbourne. Mm. GWS that, and Sydney. Sydney, yeah. Ah, oh, here we go about Sydney. No, I'm not writing them off. There's only four teams that can win the flag. Here and Sydney's not one of them. Sydney. But anyway, let's move on to the next game, which is probably Sydney. I'm going to bring the public te- the texting into the public. Which is probably Sydney. <laughs> is it? Uh, it is. Saturday, Adelaide Hills. 
West Coast Eagles 11 12 78. Sydney got the job done. That's all it was. 15 14 104 by 26 points. Got the job done, Sydney. Struggled against Harley Reid, didn't they? But big, Harley Reid's a good footballer. Big bodied mid, three games in. Struggled against him. You are going to pay um, on Sydney uh, here. No, no, no. I just, I just don't rate them. I think they're, they're you want to call that, like, put that laid down his skis. We know that at home, especially. Sydney are right up there for me. Or, or, or I think. Nah, no, I disagree. No? Lost no, to Richmond at the MCG. Yeah, it's it's not downhill skiing. Richmond come out and nearly knocked well, over well, you can't. You can't be serious if you're losing to Richmond. I'm sorry. But I told you this via text. That's it's round five at, in the Adelaide Hills. No problem. We don't remember Adela- round no, no, five no. at the Adelaide Hills. I get, I get all that. I get all that. But three quarters it took them to dispose of West Coast. But that's footy. A VFL side. Don't say VFL side. Harley, Harley, not. Harley well, Reid. Good he's footballer. Good. Oh. He's good. How'd they keep Heaney, 11 goals? Another four votes. Four votes. Four votes. Four votes. <laughs> oh, he's going back to two votes. votes. Four weeks in a row. My boy can win it this year, the Brown one. He'd be... Oh, it's four if I'm 16. If he's four, he's one. <laughs> mate. Get on. He'd Get on, on board. He would have got... <laughs> he would have... Best on ground all, all of his games. I've got no idea. Close. Well, close to it. He'd be right up there. He'd have a, quite a few votes. That's for sure. Oh, mm. for sure. But when I'm, I was going to say Harley Reid. Well done winning the last round of the year last year. And another one. <laughs> Goose, you know gooses, gooses, geese, geese, <laughs> geese, mate. Yeah, not gooses, you're right. <laughs> I'm just roll, roll it, roll it, because yeah. you're gonna hear a lot of North things. Yeah, I short know. jabs I know. through the whole I episode. Uh, Adelaide, oh, oh, here we go. Fremantle nine nine sixty three lost. Well, defeated Carlton, but still lost. <laughs> Ten thirteen seventy three. <sighs> what? You want me to start? Oh, there. well, it's your... Carlton were lucky to win, and that's it. Watch Carlton Club Corner for my thoughts Fremantle on this game. Fremantle were very good all the whole Their game. Their back good, They were mate. very good. Their back line's good, mate. I, I underrated Pierce. He's bloody good. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, yeah. Tough. And there's a lot of underrated plays in that side. Yeah, no, I think I'm one of them. I said they were no good. They, yeah, they, they just need to score a little bit more. They, they don't... Scoring's not part of their plan. It's not. Because when Nathan Fife goes forward and kicks two behinds in the last quarter, or second or third quarter, he, he was actually good for the day, though. Mm. He was. But good what for happened the day. when he, he went forward? When they threw four minutes ago, he can't kick off. No, he but, missed, but a, missed an easy two, shot. From, two easy shots. But he got right? spifflicated no. for that other shot he missed. Because my, my point is, these sides just don't they don't value scoring, and that's a fact. That's fine. You're, I don't you're have no problem with that. I have a huge problem because they're scrapped. But Fremantle. Let's gone. talk about the, just briefly. I'm done. I just don't the don't don't, 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 look the at me, don't look at me when you talk about umpiring and adjudication of this ridiculous game. Oh, what I used to call the greatest game, it is a joke. Well, the first it is it's a joke. Really bad, isn't the it? first thing you're going to say, and that's say, not talking about Carlton. Anyway, I'm talking about in general. Yeah, it, it's bad, disgraceful mm, for the part-time umpires. But let, let's let's just this score review. Get rid of it. It's disgusting. Yeah, I told you that two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah but but it's got it's got like. I, what what are the AFL doing? What, why do they are they hang on? It's Monday, so they're back from Adelaide. What are you doing? Come out and say we're going to review the thirty seconds. You know we pay for commercials. We'll review the goal within that thirty seconds. Don't waste thirty seconds and another thirty seconds. Like what are you doing? Who was it? Luke Hodge or whatever. Oh, I can't remember who it was. So, it's everyone. Um, no, everyone lost, lost their minds. Has, this is ridiculous. But Every two it, minutes. It's, I'm yeah, not sure. It's, I'm not sure. What do you mean? The ball was clearly a, a goal. There's a conspiracy theory that the sponsors of the Ark have to get crypto. their- Crypto.com? Yeah, Crypto.com have to get their- Jeez, It's a amount. conspiracy that nice. they've got to get Someone has, a, a few people have said that. <laughs> three a quarter. Their, yeah. They're getting three every minute. Every time Look, there's a score, they're doing it. Can we just narrow it down to that horrendous last minute? Minute. Yeah. Where the ball yeah, was cool. clearly come off the Freo shoulder, uh, elbow, and Cottrell took the mark, and then the descent, which didn't give the chance for Freo to get the ball. Uh, I've got no problem with the, the touch because they don't always. Plus, pay it that. wasn't a shot on goal; it was a touch through play. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's so what I'm saying. That. That's even more reason why. But I'll, I'll cop that. The descent. But not the descent. When he was descending, he was descending himself. Yeah. He was abusing him, himself. He come out. Oh, but you know what? What he Muppet like, moron idiot? What Muppet moron idiot with a minute to go, and they know how long there is to go, 
right? Goes and gives a free kick before the ball's even bounced because someone said something. Are you sure he said it to you, you That's idiot? That's right. He, Are you sure? Dinner. No. So, so go and ball the ball up and stop being yeah. a hero because yeah. I want to ruin the game. That's what they, 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 they need to be Destroy the focus. Destroyed a good game. I was flat. Every text was I sending you. I was still flat by 10 o'clock at night. Oh, I just, I don't care. It was, doesn't matter if it's Carlton, it's Frio, Essendon. It doesn't matter who it is. So did they all come and say they got it wrong, the descent, the free kick? Or yeah, they it? did come out and say they got their touched wrong. Oh, what about the descent? No, thing? they said it was there. Oh, so they won't get, believe the player. So Jordan Clark should get two weeks then. Yeah. Because that's pretty serious to send to an umpire. Yeah, yeah. Like you want to put umpires on pedestals, AFL? Yeah. Give him two um, weeks. Fair to say I'd get 122 Just weeks. Qu- quickly on Carlton, they've won three games by less than the kick. Um, okay, it was 10 points, but they've won three games by less than the kick. Mm. They've, got, um, they've bought a lot of mirrors over the off season because they're looking at 2023 exactly the same as 2023. Yeah, yeah. Well, people were saying, oh, are we seeing a, a, the new Collingwood of 2023? No, 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 no. It was no, the same no. as last Carlton year. is not Collingwood's bootlace when it comes to winning close games because Carlton's three games this year were just off the back of a little bit of luck. Collingwood... Oh, Collingwood's had some luck Colling- too. They, they couldn't... You corrected me last year because I kept saying That's it was right. luck. Did. No, I know, worked but... worked hard through... But contest, hundred percent. But you make your own luck. the situation. You they do make your play, own luck. Mate. Carlton just do the same thing. Get it high. To I'm going to say one thing. Just get it high to Charlie. I'm going to mm. say we'll lose by six goals, or we'll win by six goals, or we'll tin a yeah. win on kicking it long to Charlie. He's there's a gun. No game plan. He's a gun. Don't get me wrong. He's a gun. But there's certain players in this league you can't touch. He's one of them. Can't touch him. He's one of them. MC Hammer. MC Hammer. Patrick Cripps, he's another one. I reckon he's a good I like Patrick Cripps a lot. What about the throw? No, nah, that's okay. He's allowed. <laughs> he threw it. He's allowed. It's a throw throw, mate. You're allowed to do it. You know, there's more plays. There's more than just singling out him too. But I'm just saying, you know as well as I do, we all know this. If you're John Smith or you're Patrick Cripps, you're going to get different treatment. Mm. Yep. Simple yep. as that. Mm. Let's just get that straight. Anyway. Saturday night, Adelaide Oval. This was the doubleheader. Western Bulldogs 14 791. Nearly ran over the top of Geelong 14 11 95. And again, game. there was another decision and a 50 metre penalty with 30 seconds to go, which he missed, but it almost decided the game well, there I, as well. I wouldn't yeah. know because I turned it off when they were three goals down. I'm like, this game's <laughs> over. And then I see the final score. And so I was the like, dogs, for all they're worth, they still haven't got the chocolates and Geelong are four and zip. I heard an interesting. What are the dogs? They've won one. One they're game. They've won one, yeah. They beat. You know, the irrelevant side in um at Mars Stadium. Quite a few in of them, Bendigo. Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> um I heard someone mention this today. They said so before the game, if you said Bontepelli had thirty five, yeah. Libera had thirty five, Hawkins kicks no goals, you think the Bulldogs yeah. would win yeah, the game. Win the right? game. Yeah. Agree. Everything's gone their way. Like you got four goals out of uh uh what's his name? The little fourteen, number fourteen. Number 14, close. and Not Wine. close. No, no, the Bulldogs guy. Oh, what's his name? West. West. Oh, Wine. Riley West, Wine. yeah. How dare I? thought I was thinking of Geelong. Yeah. Who's so, going for Geelong? Darren you know, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sam Darcy stood up and kicked three goals. Like, he did, yeah. If you think all that's going to happen before the game, you think they'd probably win, right? Yeah, they I agree. They lose. They played to their premium. That was Absolute a, premium. That was the best they could have played. They, and they still lost. And Geelong played well, but not fantastic. No, that's they true. They had a couple of standouts. I agree. But... Um, yeah, you're not coming off five day break, four day too. break, Easter Monday. Jesus, they're smart with their play management, though. Just yeah. the way they do it, like they bring in, you know, some old heads off. Just make sure they're not late withdrawals. No, I know, <laughs> the king, I know, mate. The but king. Your your friend, number thirty two, Grime Wise, a superstar. Oh, the voice of the footy. Oh, he's it's smart, mate. When he's got the ball, something happens. Something oh. happens. He creates a goal, kicks a goal. He doesn't miss a target. He's smart, he's mate. fantastic, he's a good mate. footballer. He's. I, I love Geelong. They're one of my four that can win the flag. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. You're with me now, huh? Yeah, I'm okay. with you. Can't help you. No, you can't. Jeez, okay. Can't win the flag, won't win it. Let's roll to Sunday. It was a 12-30 game at Adelaide Hills. Gold Coast 13-11-89. Lost to GWS 18-9-117. They killed themselves, the Gold Coast. Killed themselves. It was a competitive game of footy, it's wasn't it? still lost it? by yeah. five goals. Because you know why? GWS were just strutting Ambling. around at 65-70. Yeah, Ambling. They weren't interested, mate. They could have won by 10 goals if that was serious. There's this they player. There's this player for GWS. There's his name's player. Toby Green, number four. It's his first game. Kicked, Kicked five, five goals. Killed him. He hasn't he's played. He played three games, but didn't he's just, really. is he any, did he get cited for. Did I he? don't know yet. No, we'll know tonight. Let's talk about that. Him, Tom Green. Well, you guys mate. want to bag the crap out of Gold Coast, but there's a couple of players there that yeah. go okay. Like, that, okay. there's that Ros- can, Roses. Can I just stop you? Roses. Can I just stop Roses. you? For 12 years, I've heard this. Not from you, but just from Gold Coast. Oh, we've got these kids coming through. Matt Roses. They start off well. He was, how are you still going? That's good. It's George Danikian style. Yeah, that's how he says that. Roses. <laughs> 
Okay, so I've got these kids coming And you know what through. I know about King and, and you know, like... King. Lacote. Yes, King. What about, what about he him? He plays full forward for goal. You're going to have to acknowledge him, him one day. One day. Help me out here, Vito. <laughs> one day. Just acknowledge he's a human and he plays football. Yeah, we know he Gold plays. Coast. He shows up. Two Muppets. <laughs> The King Brothers you're talking two about. Muppets. Which two Muppets? The Max ones that are up at ben. the top of the balcony? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the chef. No, the bal- or the chef. No, on the no, balcony. The on the balcony when they're getting stroppy on the balcony. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's switch channels. This show is dull. You bet. Um, yeah, I'm not sold on Gold Coast. I'm not sold on them. Gonna... Yeah, but, but look a... out for them. Look out. They've been saying you that will for see years. Gold Coast will be a different side by the end of the year. I tell you. They will be. Who's going to be the best player out of all the ones we've mentioned? Sheasel, uh, what's his name? The West Coast one, Harley Reid. Yeah. Yeah. Jed Walter would be better. Jed than... Walter. Oh, oh yes. Jesus he's a good footballer Are you too. joking? He is. Yeah, he looks he's like a bull, mate. And, and yeah. he's smart. I'm thinking. Because if he could kick. I'd uh, give him a chance, mate. He's going to be the best. Give him a chance. Me. He'll be the best of all of them, I reckon. Okay. Sunday, three. Yeah, the tw- well, that was a mid- mid-afternoon game, isn't it? Is that yeah. what we call well, that? Mid-afternoon. Norwood Oval at the Corridor. Richmond 9 six sixty all over St Kilda at half time. St Kilda nine thirteen sixty seven. You know, it was five goals to zero. Zip, zero. Four, or four to zero. Well, four to zero with what fifteen seconds left yeah, in the half. And, oh, no, think, a bit more, maybe a minute. Yeah. And they go and kick one. Yeah. But I'll say this. Yeah, I hate the way they play. We all do. Secure one and a shoot but they, they win. Away. But they win the point. They get the points. That's exactly right. They, they get bank the it. points. They banked four points. I hate it, but they do it. If my club was doing that, I'd be like Crap to watch, care. but they get the four points. Danny Laley's North Melbourne team did that through the 2007 to 2012 era all the time. Oh, we scored oh, they played better than that. We scored better. That's than rubbish. That. We were, we were, they were a low scoring side under Laley. Yeah, 12 goals, 13 yeah. goals. Yeah, yeah, and that was winning games. Okay, but, better than better than eight or nine. Though. But at the end of the day, they Rich, got the four points. Richmond had a crack. They always had a crack. Although Richmond was good, severely very undermanned. Yeah, very undermanned. They just keep bringing in soldiers, don't they? Like, Dusty, Dusty was in. tremendous. Yeah. Well, Bolton, Bolton was, was fantastic. Tremendous yeah. Too. Yeah, he was. Sorry, he was. He kicked a couple of outstanding, incredible rippers, goals. Yeah, yeah they they're going all right, Richmond, but St Kilda to struggle your way to that because you're rating St Kilda as a top four side. No, no, I'm not. Other people are. St Kilda's just they, a side battling for eighth spot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they'll they'll make it, it, but it's a, wa- it's a they waste will. of time. It's it, this nine thirteen sixty seven. Give me that Sharon for a second, Angel. I want to show you something. Grab that Sharon for me. Okay? Yes, I'm serious. Grab that Sharon. You want to talk about Max King? This is what he's doing. This is what they teach him at St. Kilda. He's walking in and he's doing this, people. And then he kicks it almost out in the full. Three what about times. this? Squashing yeah. the balls. Yeah, but Jeremy Cameron does. But where did they play? Where did they play at Norwood? Didn't Norwood. They? Oh, the cricket pitch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kicked it to what's that shopping centre in Norwood? <laughs> Rundle Mall. Oh, no, I, I don't know. know. That, that's, no, that's in, no, I don't, I don't know. know. But anyway, I just, I just don't rate St Kilda. They can't score, and that's the end of it. Anyway, Sunday, Adelaide Oval. This is the Twilight game. Collingwood 11 11 77. Beat Hawthorne 11 6 72. Just. Great game of footy. Great they game. They were 38 points up at half what time. What a comeback. Incredible. And then the, the master coach. Master move, Hardwick to the forward line, kick four goals yep. in the second half. They, I told you the start of the year they were going to They planned to with it. moving Hardwick a- And forward. then they had three injuries in defence and they More had to go injuries, back. Yeah. So, but jeez, that, that was a great game before you. Bit unlucky. They had a shot. Yeah, we were a bit unlucky. Could have won it. Could have won it. Scrim short as well at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No right foot. Now, no ha- right how foot. does a professional football not is not able to kick on his other side. I don't get it. There's a lot of them that can't. Oh, Brett Harvey played 430 odd games yeah. without kicking on his opposite. Brett Allison was pretty good on his left foot. Okay. Didn't have a right. I get it, but like when you get Leon in those Cameron. situations, like, what was Leon Cameron? Leon no Cameron. one knew. He's a great tremendous. Right up. He's a great. Mark Who? Bays. Yeah, yeah. They all opposite. Yeah, I know. I agree. Anyway, my point is that uh, Collingwood's done. Done. They they can't How score. Dare Could you. be. No, nah, no. Nah. I'm I'm calling it. i scratched. Out done. Could be gone. We'll uh, make. We'll we'll end up in the second last week at least of the year. Yeah. Not even close. So the last four, I reckon. Are they going to make it? They'll struggle to make it. Honestly, oh, struggle to make the eight. Yeah. Okay. I don't like what I see. <laughs> I, I do not like what I see. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Watch yeah. this space. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there you have it. Our review of round four in the books. Let us know in the comments what you thought of gather round, and we'll see you in the next one.